hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is linda if today's your first time here welcome to my channel so on this channel i do a lot of diy videos for natural hair with that being said i have another great diy video for you guys today so without wasting my time at all let's dive right into the video So guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to keep your hair moisturized for a very, very long time, how to stop shedding, and how to grow your hair fast and quick. So here I'm just showing you guys all the ingredients that we're going to be using to prepare our hair growth butter today. And the base of all those ingredients is going to be the shea butter. If you don't have shea butter, you can purchase this from your local beauty supply store or Amazon. I get mine from Amazon, especially the organic one is very, very good. Guys, do not sleep on shea butter. Shea butter is very, very, very good for natural hair. And make sure your hair is moisturized. It makes your hair very, very soft and manageable. Not only that, it stops dryness. When you wash your hair and you apply shea butter in your hair, what it does is it keeps your hair moisturized for a very, very long time. For instance, I wash my hair today and I apply shea butter in my hair. I'm good for seven days. I don't need to put anything else in my hair. And I'm sure my hair is not going to break because I trust that shea butter will keep my hair moisturized for a very long time i'm extra so i'm just gonna go ahead and add mango butter if you don't have the mango butter it's fine but if you have it go ahead and use it so i'm using about this much i'm gonna go ahead and say two ounce of shea butter that's what i'm using um because i'm using other oils i'm not gonna go too heavy on the shea butter so that's the mango butter and shea butter that i have in a jar i'm gonna go ahead and do the double boiling I'm doing the double boiling method for the shea butter and the mango butter because they um they need I needed them to be melted. So after the method, that's what I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of my oil. The Mael, the rosemary, mint, um, scalp and hair growth oil. This oil is so so good, you guys. I've been using this oil probably about four months now, and I have not not used this oil in any of my videos just yet. I love it. My daughter's hair loves it. It's just so good. The smell is perfect it's very very light it's not too strong it's just perfect it does your hair so so well i love it i use the whole bottle um if you don't or need that much oil you don't need to use the whole bottle you can just use half of it here i'm measuring two ounce of the jamaican black castor oil shabby powder one exactly two ounce of this depending on how much oil you need you can go easy or heavier on this thing they are good it does not matter the phenomenal oil 14 intense oil hair treatment this is by talia washid this oil is so so good talia washid has been in the business for natural hair for 25 years i trust her hair product you guys i love love even though it's a little bit expensive it's very very good next i'm gonna go in with the wild growth oil the green one is a little thicker than the red one i'm gonna go ahead and use two ounces of this and i'm gonna go ahead and measure the jamaican black castor oil the extra dark one i'm gonna measure two ounces of this as well if you have a low porosity here you're probably looking at me like girl why are you using all those thick oils but because we're making a butter and i've used some light oil as well the mael the rosemary oil is very very light and then the, the next oil this oil the wild growth the red one is light as well again you guys all these oils that i'm using i purchased from my local beauty supply these oils are really 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 good for hair if you don't have time to make our oils to spend time to stay in the kitchen making oils you can just mix all this together and you should be good to go so this is it this is the result of my oil i'm gonna go ahead and stir 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 mix all of them together very very well and next what i'm gonna do i'm gonna grab a jar if you have small jars you can just go ahead and um, divide them into small jars if not if you have a big one like this you can just go ahead and transfer your oil into a jar I like my oils in a jar um, so I'm gonna put it in a jar and put it in a refrigerator for a few hours maybe five to six hours this hair butter usually lasts me for about five to six months and what I usually do um, I separate them into small jar the one that I'm ready to use I'll add a preservative my hair is dirty i did a wash and go so um this is what it's looking like it's not like my hair is dirty my hair is just i have a lot of hair product in my hair i need to wash it out this is just for um day old wash and go so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna wash it out completely
whenever I'm applying new product in my hair, you guys, I don't care if I wash my hair yesterday, I'm gonna wash my hair again because I'm just like that. I'm very picky. I want to know exactly how my hair is acting now with the new product. So that's why I washed my hair. This is probably my third time washing my hair this week, y'all. So that's what I'm gonna use to wash my hair. That's one of my favorite. I'm gonna go ahead and just wash my hair and I'll be right back, you guys. So my hair is washed. Um, as you guys can see, I have nothing in my hair nothing at all no product in my hair and my oil has been just in the refrigerator my butter has been in the refrigerator for about three hours it's not all the way hard it's kind of liquidy still because i'm gonna uh, pour some in a small jar and add a peppermint oil but guys don't be like me if this is too much for you just make sure you separate this into small jars or however you want to use it before um you put it in the refrigerator so it doesn't get too hard on you i'm gonna go ahead and apply this in my hair i love y'all i'm smiling because my hair just got soft y'all my hair just got soft my hair was stiff but as soon as i add that butter in my hair it just got really really soft i'm gonna go ahead and add my light oil um to my scalp and massage my scalp very very well remember always take good care of your scalp um taking care of your hair is good but making sure that the scalp is well taken care of again a healthy scalp equals healthy hair growth i'm very very serious when it comes to my scalp i know i've talked so many times about it um i take very good care of my scar because that's where the new hair growth comes from anyways so i'm gonna go ahead and massage my scalp very very well and i'm gonna go ahead and comb my hair you guys my hair is so so soft and it smells so 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 good again all those oil are at your local beauty supply or you can just go to amazon one click away and you can purchase all those oils that we just um i just used to make um this butter so next thing, I'm going to use a wide tooth comb to comb my hair and I will be right back you guys. I'll show you how soft and how bouncy my hair is. I'm literally um, in love with my hair. So here I am, my hair is combed. You guys look at that, it looks like a hat, but it's my hair and it's combed uh, with the wide tooth. I usually don't use small... Um, <laughs> I usually don't use uh, the small comb to comb my hair, but you guys look at it very, very, very soft. But you guys, I thank you guys so much for the love and the support you guys been showing me. I really, really appreciate it. If today's your first time here, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. I got a lot of this video coming your way. But you guys, this is the end of this video. Um, I'll see you guys again in my next video. Until next time. Take care of your scalp and take care of your hair. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know if you're going to make this hair grow for butter. Have you made them before? But you guys, I'll see you guys again in my next video. Bye-bye.